Take one. Back in the summer of 2010, filmmaker Lori Bailey came home to Essex County to film her first movie called Mineville, about the generations of Irish immigrants who worked in the mines during the early 20th century. And Bailey is coming back to Mineville, Mariah and Port Henry beginning next month to film her latest movie, about a serial killer who terrorized the Adirondacks in the early 1970s. She recently held a casting call looking for some locals to fill some of the roles. Our Jack LaDuke has the story. No one may ever know exactly how many people the psychopath Robert Garrell Sr. tortured and killed in a reign of terror that swept from Syracuse to Port Henry in the 1970s. An upcoming movie will reveal information that no doubt led him on the trail of terror he followed. The screenplay will follow Robert Garrell from his Mineville home to his death in 1978 when he was brought down by police. Principal photography for the feature-length film will begin in Mariah in May. Before that, a casting call went out for anyone in the area to try out for parts as young friends of Robert Garrell, judges, crew members, and Garrell himself. I'm 11 years old and I'm auditioning for the part of the Young uh, Robert. This was very good. It's the best one I've seen today. Thank you. The waiting room for casting in Port Henry was filled with hopeful amateur thespians. They came from Plattsburgh, Messina, Tupper Lake, and other North Country towns. Director and producer Laurie Bailey has made four other films and said that she was happy with the turnout. She is a native of Port Henry and familiar with the Gerald drama from the beginning. She also dug into research about the shocking crimes. I'm taking as much of the truth that I think I could find through court documentations, prison records, um, speaking to people who were in law enforcement. I think I'm getting a true sense of what maybe happened. Local people may have an embellished sense of what happened and maybe that helps a writer. It adds flavor, Bailey said. But back then, it put the fear of a murderer on the run into everyone in the small towns here. The veteran filmmaker took artistic license, like changing the names to protect the people involved as much as possible. My dad grew up and went to school with Robert, so it was always interesting to me to hear the stories. And um, we've come up here so many times to film. I, I had lived here for many years, and I just started to interview some of the um, local folks and found his story fascinating, whether they were telling true stories or not. As a child, Garrell was sexually abused and mistreated. Many believe that it affected his psychotic nature, pushing him toward the mass murderer he became. During his killing spree, hundreds of police officers searched diligently in the area for a killer on the loose. They knew how dangerous he was. When the massive manhunt was on for murderer Robert Garrell, people here in the town of Mariah kept their eyes open and their lights on all night in hopes he never showed up. Bob O'Leary is an attorney and auditioned for an on-screen judge's role. Two positions for judges. I have no acting experience, but I have some great interest or uh, interest in uh, the whole Garrow saga, so I thought it would be an opportunity to you know, show up and kind of know more about Garrow, but also try my hand at acting. Some auditions showed strong confidence from the start. Well, I think we're going to do good. Be a good actor in this. I like to entertain people. Families showed support for their children's auditions. Hopefully, be able to do what you ask them to do. They're pretty, uh, pretty helpful at home, so maybe they'll be helpful doing something like this. Although several professional actors will play parts in the production, Bailey likes mixing them with local performers who speak the local dialect and are comfortable with it. From Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Jack LeDuke in Port Henry.